Hi, my name is Eugenia Gelbelman, and I am the writer and director and producer of The White Goddess. I just want to say hi to the Indian Cine Film Fest. Uh, thank you so much for having me and my film. It's a real honor. Uh, so I'm just going to go through some of these questions uh, about the film. So I came up for the movie when I was living in Montreal. Uh, alone and it was cold and snowing all the time and I uh, I really wanted to make a movie I just graduated from my master's in film program and I was like if I don't make a movie myself no one's ever gonna give me permission or the money so I have to self-finance I have to do it myself so I thought, well, okay, how am I going to do that? I have very limited amount of savings. Uh, if I'm going to spend them, I have to have a good idea of what I'm going to do. So I thought, well, if I have one location and two actors, that's, that's workable. I can do that. Um, and based around that idea of being one location, two actors, that's how I came up with this sort of claustrophobic two people stuck in a cabin type situation uh and I was also very interested in Greek mythology so I combined those things together and I like movies like Misery um with Kathy Bates and James Caan and like I like Driftwood where it's this person gets trapped with another person in a like and then sort of this tension and psychological and emotional <laughs> terror happen as a result of that. It's a very kind of, I think, a f interesting situation to look at in a movie. So that's, I came up with the script in about, it took me a few months to come up with the script, but then I wrote the script in about two weeks. Um, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, so... Basically, the biggest problem was how little money there was and how little time there was. There was about two weeks. We shot it in two weeks. Um, and then COVID happened right after. This was 2020. We shot it the last two weeks of February in 2020. And if we had shot any later, it would not have happened. And it was about managing, finding the people who would go and do this with me, who were crazy enough to go into northern Saguenay, Quebec, Canada, and in the dead of winter with very little money, not even knowing really what we were doing, shoot a feature film in two weeks. <laughs> and then to finish in post-production during COVID was also very difficult. Um, and basically how I envisioned it was a lot more grandiose than how than what my resources could provide for, you know, in your head, everything's more glorious and beautiful and complex and visceral and, you know, everything looks nicer than when the reality is you're like, okay, well, this Airbnb looks like this. I don't really have the money for a lot of production design. I did a lot of the production design myself <laughs> and the costumes and the, you know, the makeup and everything. So it was accomplishing a very sort of grandiose scale, surrealistic vision that I had on a very tight, tight, tight micro budget. Um, so the target audience for the film is anyone who enjoys a psychological thriller of it, you know, people who like thrillers. Um, and I made the entire movie post uh, production and post production total about 20 grand, 20 grand, 10 grand to shoot, 10 grand to finish editing. Um, so I had, I found met somehow I came across indie rights who is the distributor for the film and they've released it, I think in the United States and the UK, but I wish they would release it internationally, but I don't think they have yet. And in Canada, um, I think it's just U.S. really. I don't know even if it's in the U.K. Um, and promotion, I've been trying to do social media and, you know, I went on some podcasts and tried to promote it that way and did whatever I really could. But 
it's hard to find an audience when you don't even have a marketing budget. <laughs> um, I think the audience should watch this film to see what you can do on very little money if you really put your mind to it. <laughs> and just, I think it's an interesting example of like trying to make a unique film in a very pure vision, personal vision, very unique film by yourself. Um, just, I think in that way, it's interesting even like, oh, wow, this is really independent. I mean, this is super independent. <laughs> so if you want to see a super independent movie, you can watch my movie and see what we did. A uh, message to emerging filmmakers. Just go do it. You know, don't wait for anybody to, if you want to, if you really want to make your movie, just go and make your movie. Because if you wait for the gatekeepers to let you, you're going to be waiting a long time unless you know people. <laughs> so that's my message. Uh, and so, okay, I'm going to flash these, I think. But also, at the White Goddess film on Instagram is the main page for the movie. Um, and my email, uh, I'll flash my email, but yeah, at the white goddess film, is it at the white goddess film or at the white goddess movie? Oh my God. I think it's at the white goddess movie. <laughs> I'll flash the link. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you again to the Indian Cine Film Fest. All right. Bye.